what you're doing away back there. Come on up here. <laughs> ah, that's better. I'm glad you dropped by. I've got a little story I think you'll like. It's about a four-legged friend of mine. No, I don't mean Topper back there. This happened a while back in the beautiful Capitan Mountain country of New Mexico on the Lincoln National Forest. It was May time on the Capitan, dry and hot, but still nice and peaceful. All the animals in the forest were having a grand old time in the sunshine of spring. three-month-old fellow in particular who didn't have a care in the world. He was spending his time having fun, a growling, and a prowling, and a scratching. That's right. That bear cub didn't have a care in the world. And somebody, a two-legged somebody, got careless. somehow survived that terrible fire. Yes, the little bear cub came through. He was found clinging to what was left of a small tree. New Mexico game warden Ray Bell rushed that burned and frightened cub to the nearest animal hospital by plane. saw to it that he was given the best of care. His burned feet responded to treatment. Air grew back, and with his little belly full of good food, he grew fat and sassy. They named him Little Smokey, and in a special Piper Cub plane, took him on another trip by air. This time it was clear across the country, over America's farms, factories, and cities. 
finally little Smokey and his plane landed in Washington, our nation's capital. Here, along with his official escort, New Mexico's assistant state game warden, Homer C. Pickens, Little Smokey was greeted in the rain by a very enthusiastic committee. Chief Forester Lyle Watts accepted Little Smokey as a gift to the state foresters and Uncle Sam's Forest Service from the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. But for our little hero, that welcome in the rain was only the beginning of a new and very worthwhile life. On the first sunny day, Little Smokey was presented to the National Zoo in Washington and became a living symbol of forest fire prevention. The kids went for the whole idea like a bear goes for honey. And Little Smokey seemed to like the new setup too. It was really a big occasion. Senator Chavez of New Mexico was there to welcome his former constituent to his home in the zoo. State foresters joined in dedicating the life of Little Smokey to the school children of America to serve as an honest to goodness reminder of the danger of forest fires and the need to save our forests and wildlife from destruction by fire. <laughs> You're probably wondering if Little Smokey has lived up to all the fine things that were planned for him. <laughs> you can take my word for it, he has. You see, I had a personal invitation to visit Little Smokey a while back. Of course, he's kind of a big Smokey now. A year or so will do that to a bear. I was mighty glad to see him, and I soon learned that I wasn't the only one. That Smokey is a famous character, all right. He sure liked the oranges I brought him but I'd do that for any forest fire preventing pal. I hate forest fires worse than all the diamondback rattlesnakes in the world. That's why I've tried to do my little bit toward preventing them. I guess that's why the forestry boys were on hand too, and why they gave me a special certificate making me an honorary forest ranger. That really made me proud because it put me right on Smokey's team. Of course, Smokey had to check the document to see if it was genuine and scratch his seal of approval on it. On that trip, I learned just how much good Smokey has done in preventing man-caused forest fires mostly as a model for those car cards and posters you see most everywhere. Smokey and his important message sure get around. On nail trucks along the city streets, in the buses and trolley cars, in the woods, why, even in the comics, And now there's a song about Smokey the school children all over this great country of ours can sing and take to heart. With a range of cat and shovel and a pair of dungarees, you will find him in the forest always missing half the breeze. People stop and pay attention when he tells us to beware. But everybody knows that he's a party mention bear. Smokey, a bear, and a and a 
Smokey the Bear, a living reminder to all of us today of the need to protect our forests and wildlife for the good of all those who follow us in the future. That's the story of Smokey Bear, your friend and mine. But Smokey needs our help, so let's all be careful of fires in the forest, always. And remember, only we, you and I, can prevent forest fires. So long for now, partners. <laughs>